Hey, welcome to another Marigold show. I'm your Marigold Majesty, here to bring you commentary. This is Nagano Arcs Hall on October 20th, 2024, Marigold Fantastic Adventure. I've just started this from the beginning. I might have to talk a little bit as this kicks off. I normally will fast forward to right when it's time for the match to start. But here, I'm just starting the commentary with the video. So it'll be easy for you to follow along. You won't have to slide. You won't have to adjust. Just press play on the video and press play on the commentary. And you're synced up, ready to go. There we go. We've got our first opponent here coming out. Komomo Manami. Momo Manami is a hot property here in Marigold. Fans like her. She's got her work cut out for her here in a non-title match. What am I talking about? Title match? Non-title match? You're going to see right here. One of the best in the world. One of my favorites. Absolutely. The Superfly champion. That would be like a high-speed cruiser rate champion. Beautiful title, too. Take a look at this title belt. It's one of my favorites. I might have a replica made. I like it that much. I really do. Really looks like a throwback title to me. There you heard her name if you could hear the commentator. It is Natsumi Shozuki. There's that Superfly Championship. I love that belt. I really do. The other belt, the World Belt, the National Belt, they're beautiful. The, the Twin Star Tag Team Championships. All great looking belts here in Marigold. But that's my favorite. I don't know. It looks like a Starburst or something. Just really neat looking to me. That gold and that blue globe. And let me tell you something. The wrestler who holds it is just as awesome, just as beautiful, just as great inside the ring is Natsumi Shozuki. This is a great way to kick this show off. I mean, this is a, a warm-up show to the upcoming big show on the 24th. That's a major, major show coming up on the 24th. And this is just a way to get us warmed up and excited for such a great, amazing card coming up. If you haven't seen it, check out Marigold's Twitter. They have an English Twitter and a Japanese Twitter. I follow them both. Again, I'm your Marigold Majesty. You can follow me on Twitter on YouTube. Of course, you know that. YouTube's where you're getting this commentary. Komomo out there wanting a handshake. Shozuki honors it. We get a handshake before the show. You never know what you're going to get from Shozuki. Sometimes she's just out there to kick ass and doesn't do the handshake, but here she does. So we're kicking off with sportsmanship, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd into this. So am I. Big time. This almost could be a main event, in my opinion. Manami's going to get to the point where this match would be a main event. And you'll see here we got the lockup going on. Shozuki seems to have more control of it with Manami bouncing around trying to get an advantage, but Shozuki barely budging here. Shozuki advancing forward in this tie-up. Manami really like practically jumping up and down trying to get the strength advantage, trying to get momentum. Nice lockup here, nice battle. There, Shozuki's got her back into the ropes. Ref's going to break this up, probably. There it is. We're going to get a clean break here. Ref's sort of in my way. Shozuki gives the clean break. But Minami spins her around and starts hammering those forearms into her sternum. So Shozuki gave a nice clean break, and Minami said, the hell with that. Minami up and over, rolling over, crisscross each other. Missing, oh, but she, Manami grabs the arm, twists it around. Shozuki busts out, Manami grabs a headlock. Into the ropes, Manami kicks off of them and rolls over on top of Shozuki, maintaining control of that headlock. Excellent job by Manami there. Oh, Shozuki turns it into a pinning situation. But again, Manami doesn't break the hold. Shozuki flips her around. Two count. Oh, Manami on top here. 
Two count. Grabs the arm bar. Shozuki. See, she instantly grasped those hands. That's that experience there. And I would say Shozuki's probably the stronger wrestler here. So Manami's working hard to break that grip and get that arm bar. It doesn't matter how experienced or inexperienced you are. You get a nice arm bar on somebody, you stand a good chance of winning. Nobody wants their arm broken. Nobody wants the, that elbow hyperextended. You're talking about weeks to months out of the business if that happens. But Shozuki still maintaining that grip, not letting this happen. Getting the upper advantage here, even though Minami's still trying. Oh, flips her back down. She's got it. She's got it. Shozuki is resisting with the strength of her right arm only as she tries to get to the rope. She's got it extended, but just in time, Shozuki reaches the rope. So Nami holds on for a few seconds. And look at the pain Shozuki is in just from the few seconds in that arm bar. There's Manami. Manami's got a mean edge to her, kicking her into the kicking the rope, stretching that arm. The ref has to count it off. Manami really aggressive. She's not afraid to be an aggressive wrestler, and she shows that frequently as she goes into the ropes. Her leg is swept. She gets kicked in the back. Shozuki just tosses her down. Shozuki's going to probably go for this double knee stomper. She springs off the bottom rope and lands knees first onto her opponent. That's what we're going to get up and down goes Shozuki. She goes for the cover here, holding her leg. Gets a two count. She was very close to the rope, so I'm kind of surprised Manami didn't reach out and just grab the rope. There's Shozuki with that single leg Boston Crab just tearing at that quadricep, just tearing at that thigh muscle, the calf muscle, the ankle. Manami... She has to be close to the rope. Turning it into a dual leg, a regular Boston Crab here. Shozuki sitting down in the middle of the back of Minami. Yep, she's into the ropes. Minami is into the ropes. Ref has to break this up. Shozuki picks Minami up. Has her in the middle of the ring this time. Scoops her up. Big slam. Shizuki's now back at the legs. Is she going to go for this Boston Crab again? She's got her up. But no, Minami spins and turns this into a pinning combination. Shizuki kicks out at two. Shizuki is a little surprised there. Kicks Minami in the left arm. Minami now fighting back. Misses the clothesline, does Shizuki. Minami reaches out and over and under a DDT. Jake the Snake Robbers always said that means the end. Now she's going for that arm bar again. But Shizuki wisely, wisely rolling over. Now she's got her in the disarmor here. This is still an arm bar. It's just a different type, different style. Look at the strength of Shozuki fighting both arms. There, she's got that. That is not looking good. But Shozuki, she has long legs. She's getting close to those ropes. She has got to get those ropes or this could be over. But look again, the strength of Shozuki to just pull against that as she gets to the rope. Folks, that is remarkable strength. When you can take one of your arms and fight the power of another wrestler's double arm. Uh, that's impressive. Minami, big drop kick to Shozuki in the corner. Shozuki is doubled over. It is not looking good for our champion again in this non-title fight. Shozuki with a running drop kick, and Minami is down. Shozuki backs it up, comes running in again. Big double knees to the chin of Komomo Minami. Goes for the pin, does our champion. Two and a half, two and three quarters, pretty darn close. Shozuki sort of frustrated she didn't get the win there, but... Quickly back to her feet into the ropes again. Flying kick misses. Manami rolls Shozuki up and gets a two. Shozuki back up. Manami gets her in a pinning. Nope, two again. Good job by Manami. Roll over pin. Ref was a little slow coming in there. That might have been closer than it was. Manami now under hooks, leans forward, sort of a backslide here. No. Shozuki out of it. Looking distressed, though. Shozuki looking a little bit like she's shocked there with a big mule kick to the face of a now-fallen Komomo Manami, who got multiple pinball attempts on our champion there in a row. Looking really good. It's Komomo Manami. Fisherman Buster, nope. Gets rolled up. Reversed. Pinfall attempt. Whoo, two and nine-tenths there. Manami, the closest she came to pinning Natsumi Shozuki there, but Shozuki on her feet into the ropes coming across. Manami meets her there, clotheslines and falls backwards into a face slam from the ropes. Wasn't done perfectly, but oh, roll, oh, tries for that rolling over DDT. I guess she got it, but she did not get the full roll over there. Shozuki is slick, man. She is able to get out of moves that a lot of wrestlers can't. What Shozuki did there as Momo Konami tried that roll over, that float over DDT, is Shozuki just leaned forward, and that still caused her to fall into the DDT, but it wasn't done the way it should. Shozuki with a big high kick to the face goes for the pinfall. 
Oh, I thought that was it, and so did Shozuki. She got that big swinging kick to the face of Minami. I thought she had the three count, but she sits Minami up, backs up, pulls her knee pad up. She's aiming. She's getting ready. She flies in with big double knees to the face, to the chin, and Minami has her in a big pin, gets the one, two, three. Big win for our Superfly champion in a non-title matchup. Komomo, Minami fought like hell, looked like a million bucks, but there's your winner. Natsumi Shozuki, the Marigold Superfly champion. Again, a non-title matchup here, but doesn't matter. She'd have won anyway. There she is holding the title in the face of Minami, telling her maybe one day you'll be worthy to come after this title. Kicking her in the head, but not today, kid. Not today. Natsumi Shozuki, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know the name, learn the name. She's one of the best in the business today. If you haven't heard about her, that's a shame. Go to Google, check out her Wikipedia page, follow her on Twitter. She's awesome. As she displayed there in that matchup. There she goes. Thank you, champ. Be on to our next match here momentarily. Here we go. There's the music, meaning our next match is heading to the ring right now. Hey, look who it is. It is Chiaki, the Dark Wolf. Chiaki is good. She is a solid wrestler. She is a... Rule breaker, if you will. She isn't afraid to not just bend the rules. She will flat out break them any chance she gets. Because she's out there to take her opponent out and win by any means necessary. And why not? I mean, you want that winner's part of the purse. You're willing to do whatever you have to do. And tell, I'm telling you, Chiaki or whoever this would be in this match is going to have to do anything they can do here. You'll see what I mean by that once we see her opponent here coming up shortly. You hear that brooding music. You hear that horror-themed music. When you hear this, you know who's coming. And most people would run for their lives. Not Chiaki, though. She will stand tall and do her best to bring this monster down. It is Bozilla. Smile on her face as she comes to destroy Japan. <laughs> Chiaki, like I said, will fight. She will do her darndest against this beast, against this monster. Chiaki, the best big woman wrestler in the world. Nobody's close. I don't care what company they work for. There's nobody better as a big time woman wrestler than this woman, Bozilla. to the crowd as she has her back to the hard cam folks she's just wanting the crowd to see what she's all about look at her look at that specimen look Chiaki is tough as hell not afraid here at all she's got a smile on her face but she look she's not dumb she knows 
what she has in store here. Look at her taking the deep breath. Eyes getting wide at the sight of that woman. Bozilla, Chiaki. This is wrestling. This is a marigold dream star fighting. Chiaki's showing that she wants to shake hands. You cannot trust Chiaki. And that's not saying you can always trust Bozilla. But trusting Chiaki might be a mistake here. Bozilla wanders out, shakes the hand. Bozilla doesn't care. What are you going to do to me? Nothing. She tries. She knew it. Now look, Bozilla's just crushing her hand. Bozilla's not letting go. Pulls her in. Big knee to the midsection. That'll start it. Big suplex by Bozilla. Tosses Chiaki halfway across the ring with it. Picks her up. Throws her into the corner with ease like she's a child. Comes running in. Big body splash from Bozilla. She says, I'm not done. One more. Throws Chiaki across the ring. Irish whip. Runs it again. But Chiaki's out of the way here. Slips through the ropes. Tells Bozilla to bring him. Bozilla misses. Chiaki rakes the eyes. Hey, you're going to rake anybody's eyes. It's going to hurt no matter how big they are. Finishes is up with multiple slams of Bozilla's head into the turnbuckle pads. Has her up. She's going to rake her face across the top rope. That burns, folks, really bad. And Bozilla almost goes down from that, but not quite. She's on her feet. She gets her legs kicked out from under her, and she's down. Chiaki stands on the face with one foot of Bozilla. Just presses that into that area of her face that she just rubbed along the ropes. Now begins the face wash. So you got your face rubbed across the ropes. Then you got your face rubbed across Chiaki's shoes. Oh, Bozilla tried to block it there, but Chiaki just kicked her hand away. And a big shoe across the face of the mighty Bozilla. Bozilla is down. The monster is not slayed, but she is down. Chiaki picks her up. I don't know how smart that was. Maybe should have went for a pin. She's going to try to slam her here. I don't, Chiaki is strong, but I don't know about this. Oh, my God. Got her up, but couldn't do it. She collapses under the weight of Bozilla, and Bozilla gets a two count. Chiaki still struggling, that lower back region, feeling it from trying to lift the mighty Bozilla up for a slam. Bozilla, Irish whips her, misses the forearm. Chiaki's in. Bozilla has her across her shoulders. Just dumps her straight down into a falcon arrow. Kick out from Chiaki. I don't know. Sometimes I think I would just lay there and take the pin if it were me. <laughs> Bozilla now just choking Chiaki. She has that arm. I can't quite get a good look at it. Their backs are to us here, of course. This is not a multi-camera show, folks. This is just small house shows. We get ready for the big show coming up on the 24th. Jockey escapes that. Now, she gets her own chokehold sleeper hold on Bozilla. Now, Bozilla has that big neck. But Chiaki's arms are sufficient enough to hold her. She is strong enough to keep this in. Bozilla's going to have to try to get out of this somehow. She does standing. Jockey's just hanging on for dear life. Oh, fall away, Oh, my God. She crushes Chiaki under her own body weight. Chiaki wisely rolling towards the ropes. Bozilla's still feeling the chokehold that she was in. That sleeper hold was a strong one. So Chiaki getting some time to recover here, which is good. That's what she needs. Bozilla is recovering from the sleeper hold. Chiaki is recovering from the big ball back slam. Oh, they're almost the same size when Bozilla's on her knees and she just uppercuts forearms Chiaki. Chiaki now fighting back. That causes the giant to step back or two, but she's pretty much brushing it off like, okay. Oh, another one from Bozilla sends Chiaki reeling into the ropes, leaning over. Another one from Chiaki that Bozilla does take about a half a step but comes back with a running forearm, which falls Chiaki. Who doesn't get back up? Shakes the rope, so she's ready to go, man. She's the ultimate warrior here. Forearm block. There's a miss. Oh, rake of the eyes. Chiaki has figured this out. You know, I don't care how big and bad she is. If she can't see, she can't do any damage to me. Chiaki running in. Bozilla just push, picks her up and pushes her halfway across the ring. Almost like a pounce, except instead of like a running shoulder block, it was just a toss. Oh, Chiaki under the ring. God knows what she'll pull out from under there. She's a master of the chair shot. She's a master of the table shot. She is a weapons aficionado, if you will. And Bozilla's just wondering where she went. Where did she go? She knows she's probably under the ring, but which side is she going to come out from? Just waiting for the debut of Chiaki as the ref counts. The ref will count her out here. He's up to six. There is a 20 count here in Marigold Dream Star Fighting. So she has a while, unless Bozilla went out after her. I think she's being smart here. Nope, I know sooner said. Well, there's Chiaki. What does she have there? What is that? She's hitting Bozilla with something. Is she just squirting water on her? 
Looks like she just found a water bottle, squirted it on Bozilla, squirted it on the ref. Now, water isn't harmful, but it gets in your eyes, and you got to rub your eyes a little bit, right? Like, oh, I can't, you know, I'm not blinded for life or anything, but it's sort of irritating when you get water squirted right in your eyes, and you're not expecting it. Bozilla's still just rubbing her eyes, like trying to get the blurriness out from that water going in there. Chiaki, with a running apron kick, does nothing. Our champion catches her on her shoulders. Oh, my God, she drops her face first on the ring apron. Picks her back up and then continues to slam her face first onto the hardest part of the ring, that ring apron. There is a metal bar that goes along all four sides of the ring. I've helped put a ring together multiple times. It is literally the hardest part of the ring. It's not something people just say. Mozilla now mounts the second rope with Chiaki in the corner and rains down fisticuffs upon her. After slamming her head on the apron multiple times, she gets to get pounded from her big Bozilla. Bozilla sets Chiaki on the top rope, throws her legs to the outside, so she has something planned here. Another forearm shot. Chiaki is just being murdered up there. Oh my god, not a top rope. Not an avalanche brain buster! Oh, this has to be over. Bozilla into the uh, opposite side ropes. Over with a running senton. Doesn't get the three count. My God, I, I don't know if Chiaki's tough or stupid. I mean, I'm not calling no girl stupid, but you know what I mean. I mean, she just, sometimes, I mean, these wrestlers are brave. They are bold. They are strong. And she continues to go on here against a woman who, at the moment, is dominating her. Bozilla, oh, look, Chiaki fights that body slam and rolls it into a schoolboy and gets a two count. Big drop kick to a kneeling Bozilla, who is down to one knee again, but up immediately, rolled up by Chiaki. But look at the size of those tree trunk legs. Look at that. Now Chiaki on her in a half mount position, raining down forearms, but Bozilla's just getting right back up. Catches her into a big power slam. Holy hell. But again, Chiaki out. She is suffering incredible damage. Oh, is this the pile driver? No, this is the falling sit-out Power bomb. That'll do it. No man, woman, or beast is kicking out of that. Mozilla still selling some of the, still feeling the damage done to her by Chiaki. That's that's a big deal. The much smaller Chiaki, and when the biggest weapon she used was a bottle of water, kept her from being disqualified. She gave a good match. Look, she took the cold spray and is spraying Chiaki in the face with it. That's the that's the receipt. For squirting water in the face of Bozilla. Bozilla just kicks her. Chucky rolls out. The referee holds our victor's hand high. Bozilla defeats Chucky. Bozilla has a world title match coming up on the 24th against Sari. She has a victory over Sari in the five star Grand Prix. I think she has a victory over her in the tag team matchup as well. Bozilla coming in hot for the world title. Can Sari withstand this challenger? You'll find out on the 24th along with me. I won't be able to watch it live. It's a weekday, uh, but I'll be watching it first thing Friday evening. Uh, I don't know if it has commentary or not. I wouldn't be surprised if it does. It's a big show, but if it does not, I'll be your guy. I'll be your Huckleberry. Mozilla, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job. Nice fight by Chiaki. Not enough today, though. Getting ready for the third match was a tag team matchup. This will be an interesting match. This will be a good match. Two solid teams here. Here comes our first one. That was actually a ring second. So here they are. Our first tag team members are Misa Matsui and Nao Ishikawa. Interesting team. They are two of the toughest, grittiest wrestlers on the roster. They aren't big. But my God, can they take a beating and dish it out. They, they're going to be two of the top stars in this company. You heard it from me here. I promise you, win or lose this match, win or lose any match, they are going to be top stars in Marigold. I can see it in them. Just look at them. They have the look. They have the it factor. They're facing a tough team here. It'll be coming out soon. But these two, Nisa Matsui is one of my favorites. Uh, Ishikawa is growing on me greatly. 
This is Ishikawa right here, Nao Ishikawa, in the orange and yellow. Misa Matsui in the white and blue. Multicolored, but white and blue, the biggest colors. She's just one of those, I don't know what to call her, one of those darlings, one internet darling, right? People love her. She just, I don't know. She's a pleasure to watch. Her spirit and, and everything about her just shines through. I just wish these girls, these ladies, these women would, there we go, turn to the hard cam. I know you want to appeal to the fans, absolutely. The paying fans. But the hard cam is over here. And Misa did hit it. Here comes their competition. And it is tough competition, folks. It's a team I'm not sure I've seen yet. I've seen these wrestlers, but as a team, I'm not sure. I don't think I have. said earlier this crowd's into this show it's not a big crowd but they're really into this show who wouldn't be this is marigold dream star fighting baby and this is nane takahashi the passion queen and her partner one half of the twin towers kaoki amare this is a very interesting team listen to the crowd Chanting passion, passion. That is what Takahashi's all about. She was around in the All Japan Women Days, the best women's wrestling in the history of wrestling. That's just the truth. Nani Takahashi was a part of that, so she's a leader here. She's one of the founders. She's helped found this company with Sunny. And she's tough as hell. She's an older lady, not, you know, I don't know, 40s, 50s, somewhere in there. I didn't look her age up, but she has not lost a step. Still one of the best, still one of the, one of the strongest. These women respect her, the hell out of her. All the women in the locker room, all of them respect Takahashi. In the purple is Kaoki Imare. She's one half of the Twin Towers along with Chika Goto. Top contenders for the tag titles. They recently lost their bid for the tag team championship. But they remain top contenders as they continue to tag and, and defeat other teams. And they will stay on top. And again, Nane Takahashi is just, I don't know, out of this world. She gets some heat from some Joshi fans for, you know, stealing the spotlight. Oh, my. But as I try to tell you more about Nane, oh, this match, Nao Ishikawa kicks it off by attacking Nane. This is a preview of their upcoming singles match on the 24th. They were teaming together called Team Passion, and they didn't really break up. I guess, you know, you see how violent this is. They did, but it was Ishikawa's desire to prove to Takahashi that she is good, that she will be a top wrestler. And that's what you have here. You can see, look at Takahashi just punishing her. But Ishikawa wanting to prove herself to Takahashi, and this is the beginning of it, and it will go into a singles match on the 24th. Big slap. Oh, my God, right across the face. Hard slaps. Takahashi's not even taking her, her jacket off yet. There's a big punt. Throws Takaha uh, Takahashi Ishikawa down. Sorry, that's Takahashi doing the damage. Takahashi with a knee in Ishikawa. Ishikawa does kick out. There, Takahashi finally taking that ring jacket off. Boot to the face from Takahashi. Another kick. Tak like I said, Takahashi is tough. One of the toughest women in res wrestling, if not the toughest. Ishikawa trying to prove she can not only stand with her, but she can beat her. But look at how, look, if you've been through All Japan Women's Wrestling, and if you don't know that, folks, it was years ago, but Google it, check out, oh, headbutt, headbutt from Takahashi, Ishikawa is down. Look up All Japan Women's Wrestling. It was, some fans, many fans, believe it was a shoot company. That's how good it was. And that's where Ishikawa came from, and that, that's just, she's a scary Badass woman. She continues to punish. She should look at her just sitting on her as she's draped over the bottom rope. Gets up. She knows how to punish people before the count of five. And, you know, Ishikawa asked for this. And so Takahashi's going to have no 
problem giving it. But she tags in Kaoki Amore there in the purple. She's going to take over on Ishikawa. Throws her across the ring. Amore is known for her feet, for her kicks, for her big boots. Okay, she is the best big booter in the world. She's a big booty mama. And I'm not talking about her posterior. I'm talking about these kicks. Well, she picks up. Ishikawa throws her across to the other side. Ishikawa paying for her attack as Keuki just kicks her in the face, in the corner. Picks her up. Wants to punish her more. Scoops her up. Slams her down hard. Ishikawa was trying to resist that, but it could not. Keuki picks Ishikawa back up. Here comes Takahashi. They're going to perform some double team maneuver. Oh my goodness! Ishikawa runs them both into each other, bounds into the ropes, comes across, but gets a double elbow. Gets flipped back to her feet. They're going to try this double Irish whip again. Takahashi and Kiyoki with a double shoulder block. Ishikawa down and feeling it. But the fight is still in Ishikawa. Oh, big standing splash from Kiyoki Amare. Gets a two count. Kiyoki Amore has Ishikawa up. Irish whips her into the corner. She backs up, comes in. I, but ref was in the way there. Ishikawa did something. Ref got in my light there. Sorry about that. Ishikawa goes for the cover, though. Kiyoki got her move denied, and Ishikawa got one on Kiyoki. Now here comes Misa Matsui from the top rope, it looks like. Kiyoki just stumbling to her feet, gets a big body cross. Oh, she nails Takahashi, comes in with a drop kick to Kiyoki, who was just trying to get on her feet. Misa Matsui taking over here on Kiyoki Amare. Kiyoki reverses it, but Misa Matsui's off the second rope, charges in with a knee, big knee lift to Kiyoki Amare. Now she's going to hammer in those forearms. Kiyoki Amare definitely feeling this, but reversing, and she's going to land many of her own. She, well, she landed one, and that was enough. Misa Matsui feeling that. Getting there's that big boot. That running big boot, if you will. Look at practically knock Misa Matsui out of the ring. She comes in with oh, another one, but Misa catches it, pushes it away. Oh, but gets hit with the opposite leg big boot. See what I'm talking about? Kiyoki Amori has turned her legs, her kicks, her boots into lethal weapons. Oh, look, she's gonna try to do this stretch where she that, here's what they're they're trying to make each shoulder blade touch one another. There's Ishikawa trying to break this up. Not very hard kicks, and Takahashi comes in and takes her down with a cross face. Oh my god, look at this. Both women, one in an arm bar, Misa Matsui, the other in a cross face, Ishikawa, but the ref isn't really do anything with all four women in the ring. He's telling them, no, 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 nobody, I'm not gonna check on a submission until two of you get the hell out of here. Imagine that. Imagine enforcing the rules. Imagine not burying your referee. What a dream come true in Dream Star Fighting, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Kaoki. Misses the big boot. Misa Matsui off and catches into a big power slam. Two and a half count from Kaoki Amori on Misa Matsui. Here she's going to tag in the beast. She's going to tag in Nane Takahashi, who's going to go to town with slaps and chops and forearms to the much smaller Misa Matsui. But she stands and fires back. Misa Matsui fighting back with all that she has. Takahashi just basically absorbing all of it, coming back with a missed clothesline. Misa Matsui off the ropes, caught and side slam from Takahashi. Oh, but look at this. Misa Matsui's out of that and has an arm bar on the former All Japan women's wrestler who is here in... Marigold to kick ass and takes names. But right now, it is Misa Matsui who has Takahashi in trouble here with this deep arm bar. Takahashi oh, gets her foot on the ropes. Or we might have seen the end there. We might have seen the much smaller Misa Matsui take out Nani Takahashi, but it wasn't to be. She drapes her arm over the rope. Takahashi insisting that the ref break this up as both women kick away at her shoulder with her arm. What is the ref doing here? I don't know. I think it was Kiyoki Yamari trying to get in the ring, I think, and he was trying to keep her out. But Misa Matsui and Nao Ishikawa have her held. Oh, comes in, and Misa Matsui forearms her own partner, partner and gets German suplexed by Nane Takahashi for her effort and covered. No hook of the leg here. Notice how Misa used that to slide on out. Get the roll up here. Bridge is back. No, she doesn't get the bridge. Nane Takahashi kicked out of that before the bridge, or it might have been, she might have been in trouble there. Misa Matsui in with a running knee to Nane Takahashi. 
Misa Matsui needs to go for covers here. Uh, you cannot let Nane Takahashi recover, and that's what she did there. Look, Nane's all up, but she's going to suffer a missile dropkick. I thought Nane had it together a little more than she did there. Misa tags out to Nao Ishikawa, and again, this is a preview of the upcoming singles match we'll see between these two in just a few days. Nao Ishikawa hammering away with forearms to Nane Takahashi. Comes in. No, shoulder block does nothing. Nani telling her, hit the other ropes and try it that way. Instead, she gets shoulder blocked down practically through the canvas. Now Nani's just going to come over and kick her in the head. Stomp on her like it's, she's a bug. Nani Takahashi just not taking Nao Ishikawa seriously. Ishikawa fighting back. Nani absorbing those forearms. Look, this woman has been forearmed by the best women wrestlers in the world. Just clothesline, short clothesline. But doesn't hook the leg. Nani's very confident and doesn't care if someone kicks out because she'll just beat him some more, right? Here's Nani. Got her up with a belly-to-back suplex. Ishikawa down. Nani just arrogantly covers her. Not enough as Misa Matsui comes in and kicks Nani Takahashi. Oh, Misa Matsui on Nani Takahashi here. Forearms from Misa Matsui. But again, I, it's just not the weapon you want to choose to go against Nani Takahashi. She slaps her in the back. I mean, they sting and they hurt, but it's Nani Takahashi, damn it. You've got to do something more than that. They throw her into the opposite side ring rope. Gets clothesline. Gets clothesline. See, Nane, the forearms did nothing to her. She just stormed out of that double Irish whip with clotheslines to both of her opponents and tags in Kaoki Amore. Amore's in. There's that big boot. Look at her. She's the best big booty in the world. She picks up Ishikawa. Has her way up in a falling slam. Goes for the cover. Oh, almost had it there. That was close. Kyoki's so tall. When she gets you up to her shoulder level and falls backwards, it feels like you're falling from a skyscraper after all. I mean, they are the Twin Towers, her and Chikagoto. Ishikawa fighting back. Gets elbowed off by Kyoki and another big boot to the face of Ishikawa. Kyoki has her up. Just tosses her down on that bottom rope. Bounds across. Misa Matsui meets Kyoki with a drop kick. Now both Ishikawa and Misa Matsui gets a double drop kick on the Twin Tower, Kiyoki Amore. Ishikawa picks her up. Maybe should have gone for the cover there. I don't know. Has her double underhooks picked her up. And a double underhook falling away suplex from Ishikawa. That was beautiful. Didn't really have a deep hook of the leg. And look, Kiyoki's legs are so long. and She's going to kick out every time if you don't have her leg. And I think Ishikawa had it a little bit, but nowhere nearly enough. Look, she just gets slapped in the side by Takahashi. So Kaoki can come over and just toss her off the top rope. Threw her like a sack of potatoes. Begins to kick her in the back. Kaoki picks Ishikawa up. Has her around the waist. What's she going to do here? Has her up. No, Ishikawa gets out of it. Kaoki kicks her. Down goes Ishikawa. Kaoki Amori picks her up. Nani Takahashi's in here. She kicks Misa Matsui off the apron because I think they might be going for the end here. They get a double underhook on Nao Ishikawa and a big double belly-to-back suplex. Kyoki gets the cover, does hook the leg. No. Nao Ishikawa refuses to go down. She is the smaller wrestler. She is the less experienced, but she is fighting like a crazy person. Now Kyoki has her up like a backbreaker, but Ishikawa breaks out and gets the backslide. No. No. Kyoki uses those long legs to get out of that. Misses the clothesline. Roll up from Ishikawa. Bridges of the Ishibari. Bridges across. But again, it's those long legs. I'm telling you, they make a big difference. They're like springs. And there is the running boot to the face by Amare. Kyoki Amare. But she picks Ishikawa up. Not going for the cover after that. Nope. Ishikawa fighting whatever Amari's trying to do here. And lifts Amari up across her back. Has both of her legs and slams her down like a flapjack. Rolls her up in a bridge. Oh, Ishikawa in there to break that up. That might have been over. But I didn't say it. I meant, um, sorry folks. Takahashi broke that up. Ishikawa now in the orange. Now have Amari controlled with the waist lock. Takahashi breaks out of that. A big German suplex from Takahashi. To Ishikawa, Takahashi needs to get out of the ring. I respect her. She's great, but she's been in here a long time. There's the double team maneuver, double boot from Takahashi and Kyoki Amore. Now, Kyoki positioning Ishikawa right where she wants her and climbing to the top rope. This is a big woman to come off the top rope. Look at her up there. 
jumping, leaping, twisting body splash. Ishikawa was not kicking out of that, man. She looked like an incredible, beautiful swan up there, did she not? Did Kyoki Amori, and she just jumped and spun in midair and landed hard with a superfly style splash on Nao Ishikawa to give her and Nani Takahashi the win. Excellent tag team match. Again, you know, they, they suffered the loss, but Ishikawa, this is just making her better. This is just making her better and better. Misa Matsui, no offense to Ishikawa, I want to see Misa Matsui in some singles matches. I want to see Misa Matsui against Natsumi Shozuki. I want to see stuff like that. But there are your winners, Nani Takahashi and Kaoki Amore. Excellent matchup. Big win for these two ladies. Kaoki wrestling outside of the Twin Tower situation with one of the best, most respected women in all of wrestling, especially all Joshi. Here comes Takahashi on the mic. I'm not going to be able to tell you what she says here. I'm sorry, folks. I wish I did speak Japanese. It would make this even more enjoyable to me. She's probably going to tell the crowd to come out on the 24th. She's praising her partner there, Kaoki Amare, posing for some pictures for the crowd. I'm sure she's telling the crowd to come out on the 24th and watch her beat the living hell out of Nao Ishikawa. Just laying out here, folks. Watch this interaction. That's what's going on. She's warning Nao Ishikawa about their upcoming match on the 24th. I'm sure she is. And this is Nao Ishikawa mouthing back to the veteran star, Nane Takahashi. Not afraid of her. She's going to prove to her that she is passionate, that she is a good wrestler on the 24th. Nani told her to just quit if she doesn't have the passion. Ishikawa wants to prove that she's never quitting and she's going to stand up to her bully who is also using this to train her, ladies and gentlemen. This is how Ishikawa trains people. She'll beat you the hell up, but that is to help you progress. I promise you. There they are again. Nani Takahashi and Kiyoki Amori are winners here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are up to the semi-final match, the semi-main event. It's a three-way. Now, look, yours truly, those of you who know me, some of you on here know who I am, some of you don't. That's fine. Not out to broadcast who I am on this channel. Um, but those of you who do know me know I'm not a big fan of three-way matches. I'm just, the psychology is usually bad. Uh, but these three of the best wrestlers in the world, like this young lady, Nagisa Nozaki, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Marigold knows how to book matches like this. These ladies know how to wrestle matches like this. She is the angel of death. Nagisa Nozaki. 
She has an upcoming match for the national championship held by Miku Ayano, another opponent in this match. This will be a preview of that match, but it's a three-way. I'm just going to tell you now, it includes Utami Heishita. It's unbelievable. This match is unbelievable. Main event anywhere in the world, in my opinion, and it's our semi-main event here. Nagisa Nozaki. She would also be classified as a rule breaker. She teams with Chiaki a lot. They're, they're not above using chairs and whatever they can. She just doesn't care. She doesn't need to. This lady's one of the best wrestlers out there, but she doesn't care. That's <laughs> just as simple as that. Here comes our national champion. The Marigold national champion. Miku Ayano. She's incredible. See that title around her waist? Well, just barely. There it is. You get a glimpse of it. You'll see it here. But more importantly, you're going to see Miku Ayano, one of the best Joshi wrestlers in the world, one of the best women wrestlers in the world. A little bit of wonky camera work here, but there she is. Again, this is not a multi-camera show, right? So take what we can get just so I can see the shows. I'm not complaining. Dressed in her regalness, looking only as she can look. Miku Iano. One thing I love about the championship titles here at Marigold is they don't have to look like they're specific to women. You know what I mean? They're attractive titles. And they don't look manly, but they don't have to look like they're just for women. You know what I mean? Except maybe our Dream Star tag titles, which have the flying horse Pegasus on them. Um, still nice, but definitely feminine. I like how these matches, how these, how their title belts, for the most part, could be hung on any wall. And, and not that you have anything against women titles, but I hope you know what I mean. It just looked like wrestling titles. I like that. Here comes the Red Queen herself. Former leader of Queen's Quest, World Wonder Ring stardom fame. Tommy Heya Shishita, one of the, I mean, all three of these are one of the, three of the best women in wrestling. There she is with her rose, frequently leads the way. Her confidence carries her to the ring in that beautiful ring attire. Hands that rose to a fan. Lucky fan. Tommy Heya Shishita burst on the scene just a few years ago in her rookie season in, in stardom. She she won numerous titles. She she held every single title in stardom. She hasn't won a title here in Marigold yet. But there's no doubt she's going to. She's the top contender. She won the Dream Star Grand Prix tournament, a brutal tournament, crossing over a week, I think. And now stands the challenge for whatever title she wants. I'm sure it will be the world title against Sari. I think they're going to do that in the new year. I think they're going to hold that on the big New Year show every Japanese company has every year. Utami's confident to the point of being cocky. She just, I don't know how anybody who watches her can't help but, but love her. Love her wrestling, love her style, love her swagger. Nagisa Nozaki, very, very close to having the same things about her that Utami, same way with Miko Ayano. I would, out of these three, I think Utami has the edge, not just in this match, but I mean, just overall general. She has a bigger it factor, but that's taking very little away from Nozaki and Ayano. We're going to start a little bit slowly, both ladies pacing themselves, trying, trying to keep an eye, you know, you got to keep your head on a swivel in these three-way matches. That's absolutely for sure. We're getting ready to start this one. Again, all these ladies taking their time. It's a smart thing to do in a three-way matchup. We're going to have a three-way lockup. That's a little bit unusual. I mean, we see it. Nope. Nisa bails out. She's not going to have any part of that. Nagisa. Utami pulls in 
Aono. They're going round and round with each other, reversing. There, look at Aono kicking the leg or stamping on the leg, stomping on it, reversing that headlock into one of her own, pulling Utami over onto her back, but Utami gets the leg scissors and both of them are up and out. Aono comes in and kicks Utami in the stomach, bounds into the rope and is tripped by Misa or um, Nagasi. Nagisa Nozaki. I know these women's names. Sometimes my tongue just rolls all over itself with Japanese names. I apologize. It's no 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 disrespect. Sometimes I just mess up saying these names that I do know. Okay? In comes Nozaki with a big boot to both of them. The main one there that suffered was Ayano, but Heo Shishita felt that as well. She's draped over the second rope as Nozaki's on that apron. She's going to do this kick. Look at this. She pulls her own leg back as far as it will go and lets it go and it snaps like a rubber band. I like that kick. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone else do that. It's not ridiculously complicated, but I like it. I like how it looks. It has a good aesthetic. It looks like it hurts. She's going to throw Heishita into the chairs. They make fans scramble. They just point the chairs. The, the ring seconds there have to go around and tell fans to get out of their seats because the wrestlers are coming to smash each other into them. And fans just scramble. I get a kick out of it. They're just going to do it again. No, reverse. And it is Nozaki into those chairs. Utami Heishita reverses it. Here comes Aoni and Aano in. Begins to forearm smash. Heishita wants to throw her, but no, no, she gets it. And Utami's into another set of chairs where fans have scrambled away from. This has just turned into chaos on the outside of the ring, unfortunately. Not a big fan of outside the ring action, folks. I so I know a lot of you probably love it and think it's exciting. To me, it's it's good here or there. Touches of it. We haven't seen it before this match, so I got to give them that. They did reserve this type of work for this match. But I want to see these three incredible wrestlers in the ring. Not fighting on the outside like this is ECW. No offense to ECW. I just not what I want to see. But when you get that here, these ladies, their emotions get the best of them. They don't care about fighting in the ring. They want to torture each other on the outside. And that's what they do. As you see Tommy throw Ayano into Nozaki and then come in and kick Ozaki and knock her down. Tommy celebrating on the outside. She's taking control of this street fight type of situation. The referee is counting them out. They will have some leniency here because they don't want the main event to end in a count out, right? But it will. The ref will do that as fans begin to file back to their fallen seats. Utami has Nozaki in the ring, runs in, big elbow, runs out, running drop kick to a seated Nozaki who's on her back, and Utami covers her with no leg hook. So, of course, Nozaki is out. Again, this is our semi-main event. We have one more to go after this. Utami Heishishita rolls Nozaki over into a, a high Boston Crab, sort of a lion tamer here. She's holding on to that pretty strongly. You can see her abdominals flexing there. You can see the grit on Utami's face, but here comes Aoni, just kicks Utami, and she breaks the hold. Now we've got our national champion, Aoni, against Utami Heishishita, who picks Aoni up and slams her down, has both women. She's going to hook a leg of each one of them into a single-leg Boston Crab. She's trying to make both of these women submit. Utami Heishita is incredible, and she will take both of these women on at the same time. Then I'm fine. I'll just I'll get you both in this hold, and maybe you'll both tap. This is a three-way, so this is perfectly legal. Now, unlike American wrestling, three-ways are not no disqualifications. You're not going to see a run in here. Okay, you can get disqualified. You can get countered out. Thank you, Rossi. Thank you, Marigold, for bringing some sense and psychology to a three-way match. Utami's in now with a double drop kick to Aoni and Nozaki. Nozaki bails to the outside. Aoni's still in the ring. Utami's picking her up, of course, concentrating on her. Picks her up for a big scoop slam. Just tosses her down. Notice the emphasis. Notice the power on the body slams and Marigold. They throw their opponent to the mat. They don't just pick them up and drop them. They don't. They really get some force behind their body slams. Aoni breaks out, begins the forearm chop, and we're going to get, oh, right to the head. We're going to get these fighting spirit forearm smashes from these two warriors. Utami knocks Aoni down, so we don't get a bunch of them in succession, which is okay with me. Utami's end gets caught and scooped and, no, oh, almost lost it. Picked it back up and just drops down, falls down with her, does Aoni. Gets a two count, and Nozaki's in to break it up. She's leaning into Utami's face, telling her to get up. 
I think she wants Aoni to work with her here, but they're going to battle each other coming up. So this is, no, this is, she wants Otami to work with her. Aoni breaks out of it, hammers Utami into the corner, flies in and drop kicks Nozaki. Aoni in, drop kicks Heishita. She has both of them down. Another John Wu style drop kick to Nozaki. Here comes a John Wu for Utami Heishita. And she just pushes Utami out of the ring. She wants to concentrate on her upcoming opponent, Nagisa Nozaki. Our national champion, Miku Aoni. No, doesn't get the pickup. Nozaki breaks out, but gets in an arm ringer and gets kicked in the face. Aoni kicks her in the leg. Aoni picks her up. What's she going to do here? A fisherman buster style suplex. Let's her go. Goes for the cover. Does not hook a leg. Notice that, folks. That's important in pro wrestling. I mean, these ladies are the professionals. I'm just commentating, but big kick from Miku Aoni. Aano, sorry, not Aoni. Aano with another kick. Again, slap my English mouth. It just, oh, misses the kick. Doesn't pronounce these names the way I know them to be sometimes. Forgive me, please. Now we've got a sleeper hold by Nozaki on Aano. Aano fighting it, trying to get the roll. Oh, look at that. She just used that strength and her height to drag Aano back to the middle of the ring. She's trying to put her down. She's trying to put her down. She's trying to show the national champion, I can beat you, and I'll do it right here in the center of the ring. I think this is going to take Heishishita coming back in and breaking this up. I don't know where she's at right now. There she is. I knew it would take that. I mean, you're not breaking out of Nogisa Nozaki's sleeper hold. It's just not happening. Heishishita breaks it up, and now Nozaki's not pleased. They were just teaming with each other against Ayano, and now they're battling with those fighting spirit forearms. This is the way of the warrior. This comes from the tradition of the samurai when they just went one-on-one -on -one without necessarily trying to kill each other. They just wanted to show which one can outpower the other. They're trying to absorb these shots. I know it doesn't make sense to some fans and some other wrestlers, but this is what it's about. It is about honor. It is about tradition. It is about absorbing punishment, but still coming forward. Oh, big double axe handle slap to both of them from the Gossi. Now coming into the ropes, but Heishishita and Ayano double kick her, double hook her. I'll oh, try for the double suplex, but don't get it. A double slap from the from uh, Nozaki, who breaks out of it, twists them together in a weird... Look at this. I don't even know how to explain that. It was like a single leg trip after she positioned a dazed Heishishita under the arm of Ayano, causing Ayano to DDT Heishishita when she went down to that big leg trip from Nozaki. Nozaki now with a big boot to the face while holding both arms of Ayano goes for the pin but again these ladies arrogantly covering each other refusing to hook a leg and this is what's causing this match to continue just not going to pin the amazing wrestlers like this Nozaki now on the second rope what she got up her sleeve here Ayano's up and a big missile drop kick from the second rope but I saw Heishishita climb the ropes she's going to come off with a missile drop kick of her own from the top to Nozaki knocking her completely out of the ring We've got Heishishita and Miku Aoni in the ring together now. Utami Heishishita picks Miku Aoni up. No, drops her. Kick is caught by Heishishita. Hammers down on that knee. Gets Aoni back against. Oh, ball away slam. Samoan style from Utami Heishishita to Miku Aoni. Runs in with a sliding lariat. Does hook the leg here, but still she just, just gets that right shoulder up does our national champion Miku Ayano. Tommy Hayes, she's just slightly frustrated here. She knows that it's going to be a battle to pin our national champion, but thought she might have had it there. Comes in, double clothesline. Each one of them hit the other. Both stumble back, and they, they're they going to go at it again. Oh, Tommy, she hits a second one. Third one. Oh, running clothesline from Aoni. Down goes Hayes, Shishita. Ayano in into a sliding lariat of her own. That's a major move of Tommy Heishishita. Ayano hits one of her own and to almost pin the Red Rose to almost take out her number one contender, Tommy Heishishita. She's up now. Double underhook. Let go. Release suplex. I think that might have been it for Miko Ayano. Might have had the pin on Utami Heishishita, but Nagisa Nozaki in from the outside to break that up after being missile drop kicked. From Utami Heishita outside of the ring. But Nagisa now missing. She came in and broke that up. It seemed to slide out the other side of the ring. No, there she is. She's going to stop the ascent of Miko Ayano to the top rope. They're going to battle each other there in the corner. 
with Ayano on the top rope. Nagisa Nosaki climbing up there with her, getting an underhook on her. Oh, Tommy's going to go underneath. He's going to powerbomb both women off. Crazy move. There it is. I mean, Tommy suffers no damage there. Mika Ayano suffers the most. And Nagisa Nozaki, already rattled from that missile drop kick, is down and spiraled across the ring. Tommy has Shita. Who's she going to cover? Who's she going to go for? Here she goes for our national champion, Mika Ayano. She's slowly picking her up by the back of the trunks. Hooks her. Are we going to get a big German suplex here? Tommy Hayes Shishida is wicked good at these German suplexes. In come Nagasi, who kicks Ayano, allowing Utami Hayes Shishida to toss her hard with the German suplex. But Nag Nagisa Nozaki comes in with a big boot to the suplexer, Hayes Shishida. Nozaki in with a big running single leg boot to the face. Covers Utami Hayes Shishida. What are we seeing here, folks? What have I been telling you? Again, I'm not trying to sound like a trainer of these incredible athletes, but not hooking the legs of someone like Utami Heia Shishita. Come on, Nagisa Nozaki. You have to know you're not pinning someone like Heia Shishita without hooking her leg. Come on. She's going to go for another move. Nagasaki in. Maybe with a big, she gets met with a clothesline from Miko Ayano. All three women down and not out, but they are really suffering here. They are really feeling it. I'm sure there's a time limit on this match. I don't know if it's 15 minutes or what have you. I didn't catch that before the match. If it was in Japanese, I didn't get it. This could lead to a draw. I don't know. Somebody's got to really get with it to win this. And we got Eano and Nozaki battling each other with those Warriors way, those uh, fighting spirit forearm smashes. Nozaki gets the upper hand with those. She wins that battle. But no, here comes Aoni back. Hammering her own, and both of them are down. Aoni's slightly more up than Nozaki, but Nozaki quickly getting there. Both of these women rattled. This is where Hayashishita should come in and try to take one of them out. Oh, big boot, big kick. She's feeling that. Nozaki felt that bad. Look at her holding the back of her leg. She comes in with a boot to the face to Aoni. Aoni. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Ayano with a kick back. Both of these women just trying to battle each other, trying to show, I'll take two or three from you to get one in of my own. That's what Ole Anderson used to say, and you could see these women doing that to each other. They'll take three shots if I can get one in. Oh, running, but not a running boot, but a big standing boot from the Gisa Nozaki to our national champion, Miko Ayano. There's Hayashishita finally making it back into the ring. Nozaki covers Ayano, does hook the leg like she heard me, but Ayano, Miko Ayano, kicks out. Just kicks out of that. Utami still making her way back into the ring. I think she's biding her time. I think she's playing possum a little bit there. I, I know Hayashita enough to believe that's what she's doing. Nozaki trying to pick Ayano up by the hair. Ref should be counting that off. Get her off the hair, ref. Well, there's Hayashita with a double clothesline to both of her opponents. What did I tell you? She was playing possum. She was draped um, under that... Bottom rope, biding her time. And she got her time there. She picks Nozaki up across her back. Aono clotheslines it, turns it into a destroyer. By clotheslining those ladies, she turned what Hayashishita was trying to do into a destroyer on Hayashishita. That was pretty damn impressive. That had to be a hell of a clothesline from Aono. Aono now trying to get Nagasi in some kind of package. No, Nagasi gets out of it. Nozaki. Nozaki gets kicked in the head from Ayano. Doesn't go down there. Stays on her feet. Both of these women now run. No, blocked kick. Big buzzsaw kick from Niku Ayano. She had, now has Nagisa Nozaki in a bad way. Picks her up in a pile driver position. She's going for the Styles Clash. She's almost got it hooked. She can't get that. She's got that leg over. Styles Clash. This may be over. She rolls Nozaki over. Gets the two count, but there's Hea Shishita breaking it up. That would have been up. That would have been it, and there's the bell. That was my fear, folks. That was my concern. That was my worry. Still a great match. Very much enjoyed it, but your time limit has expired. There's no winner here. Our number one contender, Utami Hea Shishita. Our national champion, Miko Ayano. And the number one contender to the national championship, Nagisa Nozaki. Draw. Draw match. I believe it was probably 15 minutes. 
excellent fight, excellent match. Right there is three of the best Marigold has to offer. Right there is three of the best Joshi has to offer. Right there is three of the best the world of wrestling has to offer. And you just saw it on display there. And I got to sit here and call it. For those of you willing to come to my YouTube channel and play this commentary along with the shows, I greatly appreciate it. We do have one more match. I don't want to sound like I'm signing off here. The main event is a six-person tag team matchup. Let's just continue to praise these three for now until we get to that. It'll be coming up momentarily, but wow. Wow, what an impressive match. I mean, these, these three went out there and just gave their all, and all three of them are so good, nobody could win. Nobody could beat the other in the time limit. There's the they're talking going to talk to each other, meaning uh, Miko Ayano and Nagisa Nozaki. As we get ready for the 24th, you see that title laying off there to the left. That's the national title that they will be fighting for. And I'm sure Miko Ayano is telling Nagisa Nagisa Nozaki to bring her best. Bring her best. She's ready for her. Grabs her title. Continues to get in the face and discuss their upcoming match with Nagisa Nozaki. Throws the microphone at her. What do you have to say, bitch? <laughs> I wish I knew what they were saying, guys. I really do. Look at the smiles on the faces of some of those. Look at that fan directly by the turnbuckle. He's enjoying the hell out of this. He's loving whatever they're saying, so this must be good. Listen to how out of breath uh, Nagisa Nozaki is, and she's in incredible, in incredible shape. But that's just how much they gave their all. That's how much they killed each other in this matchup. That an incredible athlete, Nike Nozaki, is out of breath. I'm sure Nozaki's saying she's going to be the next, the, the new national champion. I'm sure she is. I like it. See how she's smooth and calm. You know who she reminded me there of in her promo style, even though I couldn't understand it? Jake the Snake Roberts. She was just cool, calm, smooth. She wasn't over-emotional. She just stated how she felt. And it didn't come across like she didn't know how to talk. It just came across like she was cool, calm, confident, ready to go. Now, Ayano did a great job, too, but she was more passionate, more like, yeah, you know, like hyped up and talking about the match, which is awesome. That sells the match. But um, Nozaki was just really laid back there and really, really brought me back to the days of how Jake Roberts used to do his promos. Just did. That's what I got out of it. Call me crazy. I love this stuff. There's the national champion. There's that title. All hail Miko Ayano. She gets ready to face Nagisa Nozaki on the 24th for that title, that national title. Okay, we're going to get the ring seconds in there, wiping up, cleaning up as we get ready for the main event. Like I said, it is a six-person tag team matchup. It includes our twin star tag team champions, Mirai and Mai Sakurai, teaming with Myla Grace as they take on Victoria Yuzuki, Kazuna Tanaka, and Rei Sato. Should be excellent. Definitely worthy of main event status. I'm ready to go. Let's take a moment before they come out. I'm going to lay out here until I have to talk about it. We're wasting no time because there's the music of our first entrance.
Here comes our first team. Victoria Yuzuki in the yellow, the blonde hair. Kazuna Tanaka in the blue and the dark hair, the blue and dark hair. In the dark hair in the white is Rei Saito. Now, Victoria Yuzuki and Kazuna Tanaka are challenging for the, the Twin Star Tag Team Championship on the 24th against Mariah Mai Sakurai, who will be out here momentarily. So this is a preview of that match. Each team just picking up a third partner to give us a preview here. That Their third partner there is getting in the ring now, Rei Saito. She is excellent. She is one of the most unique-looking wrestlers out there. I've said this a lot about her, and I'm not trying to be mean. She just has such a unique look about her. I like it. You remember her. Even this pose, what is she doing? I'm not making fun of her. She has a unique pose. Everything about look at her. Everything about her is unique as it gets with her look. Nothing fancy, but just that haircut and that look and the makeup and her poses just make her stand out, make her memorable. There's Kazuna Tanaka. She's the partner of Victoria Yuzuki for the tag team title shot coming up on the 24th. Yuzuki and Tanaka are both rookies. It's unbelievable. Yuzuki's coming up on her first year. Not quite there yet, but my God. She's incredible. She came from stardom. She was a big, huge success over there. Wasn't there long enough to win titles, but people knew she was special. Her debut match was against Momo Watanabe. She lost, but when you can go one-on-one -on -one with Momo Watanabe in your first match and put on the display that Victoria Suzuki did, from that moment on, everybody knew she was special. Here come their opponents. Two of the three are the Twin Star Tag Team Champions, Mirai and Mai Sakurai, and their partner is going to be the Blonde Gaijin. Myla Grace. Here they come. In the pink. One half of the tag team champions, my Sakurai. In the blue and white, one half of the tag team champions, Mirai. And in the middle, dressed like a Christmas tree. And I don't say that to be insulting. The guy Jean, Myla Grace. See those uh, twin star tag team champions there. The belts, they have a picture of the flying horse Pegasus on them as all three ladies pose together. Again, on the left, my Sakurai. On the right, Mirai. And in the middle, Myla Grace. Getting ready to start this one. See which 
wrestler will kick off this match. Look at the intense look. Kazuna Tanaka just staring a hole through her opponents there. Kazuna in the blue there on the left side of your ring. Looks like she wants to start this. Kazuna Tanaka looks determined to start this. She's stepping to the front. Mirai stepping to the front. The multicolored hair, Mirai. Kazuna Tanaka. Mirai is tough. I mean, I say this about a lot of ladies, but she's very strong. She, she, she's got a clothesline. It'll knock you out. And Kazuna Tanaka is a very incredible rookie. But man, the, the nerve of her to step up here against the mighty Mirai. Very interesting. But Yuzuki's attitude's rubbing off on Tanaka is what's happening. Yuzuki has a hell of an attitude. Look at this. Grab her by the hair, begin to forearm smash her in the face. Mirai's like, okay. She's going to return a favor here. Well, that's what I told you. You mess with Mirai. It just might be a mistake. But Tanaka is great as well. Mirai with the guillotine just trying to choke the youngster out here, dragging her over to her corner. My Sakurai tags in. You <laughs> she Tanaka pulls away. Look at her. Look at her. I love it. She just looks intense as hell. But walks over and tags in her partner, Victoria Yuzuki. Her and my Sakurai is going at it. These two are familiar with each other from stardom. They both came over from that organization, thankfully. Thrilled to have them. They're going back and forth here with some arm ringers and some rollouts. Oh, a big flip out by Yuzuki. Gets the arm ringer and wrist control. My Sakurai hammering her in the midsection. Getting that control back of Yuzuki's arm and bringing it back behind her. Yuzuki with the headlock to get out of it. Spins out to, to reverse that. Rolls her over. And Sakurai gets her in her leg scissors. And they both break it and look at each other like, okay. Here we go. Wrestling. Here comes Ray Saito against Myla Grace. This is the clothesline. Oh, big split for Myla Grace. And a kick to the head and a face and a back kick. Can't keep up with you, Myla. Myla's now going into the ropes. Bounding off. Running drop kick to a kneeling Ray Saito. And she goes for the cover and hooks the leg immediately. Gets about a two and a half count there. Ray Sato not expecting that explosive charge. Neither was I. Very hard time keeping up with it. Tosses Ray Sato into her corner and delivers shoulder buck after shoulder butt after shoulder butt. Holding Ray Sato in there and tagging Mariah back in. This this team of Mariah and my Sakurai and Mila Grace making frequent tags already. Ray Sato getting just bombed with kicks from the mighty Mariah. Mariah has Ray Saito, picks her up and just slams her down hard. Appeals to the crowd, goes over and elbows both of her, both uh, Yuzuki and Tanaka, goes and covers Ray Saito. But her going over there and knocking her opponents down kept them from coming in and rescuing Saito, but also gave Saito a little time to recover. Saito now returning the favor with the forearm shots. Mariah just eating them like, like they're, you know, donuts for breakfast. She's having no problem there at all. Spun around there a little bit. Just pissed Mariah off. Now she's going to return her favor to Saito, knocking her loopy with multiple forearm shots. I don't, just, I don't know. I don't know. Just, just scary taking on Mariah with power moves. It's just a scary thing to attempt. Mariah now hooks in an abdominal stretch, pulling back hard on Saito. Can't see. Oh, look at this. My Sakurai, the ref catches her, pulling the arm of Mirai. The champion's resorting to dirty tactics there against Ray Saito. Throwing Saito's head into the turnbuckle patch, tagging, tagging in Myla Grace again. Boots from Mirai before she leaves the ring. More boots from Myla Grace. Now a big choke. Oh, look, all three ladies just kicking the face and head of Ray Saito. Unbelievable. Holding her down there, stretching her neck out. That has to be incredibly painful. Big back elbow shot from Myla Grace. Now just holding her in the corner. Snap mares her over by her head. Myla Grace picking up. Big forearm to Ray Sieto. Another one to her. Ray Sieto eating them pretty well. But suffering, but taking them. Not collapsing, not falling down. Myla reverses Myla's Irish whip. Oh, off the bottom rope. Springs Myla Grace into a roll-up cover. No, lets it go. Hooks the leg. What is this? What is she doing? Is she going for some type of cross face here? Is Myla Grace? That was a ridiculous looking move. I didn't know what was going on there, but it ends with Myla Grace and a cross face on Ray Saito. Ray Saito positioning herself, trying to get to the ropes. Victoria Zuki and Tanaka tied up by Mirai and Sakurai. 
And Seto does get to that bottom rope. Mana Grace has to release her. Seto needs a tag in the worst way. Mila Grace is running away from her. Seto with a running drop kick. Now she goes into the corner and tags in the mean faced muggin Tanaka. Tanaka with a big running drop kick on Mila Grace. Kazuna Tanaka now. Oh, she doesn't quite get Mila Grace up. Mila Grace fights back. Goes into the ropes, comes across, spinning buzzsaw kick, followed by a huge slap from Tanaka. Tanaka into the ropes with a running single leg kick to the face. Goes for the cover, does hook the leg. Myla Grace is out. Tanaka looks pissed off. You kicked out, bitch. And she rains down forearms, gets in a mount position, and literally rains down forearms on Myla Grace. Tanaka's not having it tonight. She is angry. She is pissed. She is moody. Um, she has famous parents. Both of her rest, both of her parents were wrestlers. Okay, and I know Mariah and my Sakurai sort of insulted her. I, I did make out the, the exact translation, but they sort of brought her parents up. You know, she doesn't. You know, Tanaka loves and respects her parents, obviously, but she doesn't want to be compared to them. She doesn't want to be taunted by her opponents about her parents. She wants to make her own way, and that's why that's probably where this attitude comes tonight. Oh, spinning neck breaker from Myla Grace on Kazuna Tanaka. But no, you, I said earlier about her attitude about. Her her, her death stare, right? She's pissed off at my Sakurai and Mirai. And you're seeing it here. You know, Myla Grace with a big spinning chop to the neck, spinning back kick, mule kick, grips Tanaka by the waist. Tanaka fighting out of it, gets out of it. Oh, big forearm shot to Mirai, but she suffers as she gets a forearm to the back of the head for turning away from her opponent and a belly to back German suplex. Down goes Tanaka, in comes Mirai. Oh, just look at her, just stomping away at the rookie, kicking her shoulder, kicking her face. Tanaka, look, she keeps that angry look, no matter what. She's getting pummeled right now. She blocks that, smashes Mirai. Mirai, look at the look of shock on Mirai's face there. When she bounced her head off that turnbuckle pad, Mirai turned around with a with a dazed but shocked look on her face. Now she just flips Mirai over by her head, kicks her into the corner. I love this aggressive Kazuna Tanaka. I love it. Got to see more of this from Kazuna Tanaka. She's going to need this in this tag team match on the 24th. Again, snapmare flip over by Mirai's head. Now she's going to just put her knee into the side of her neck and face. Now her foot just stomping away on the face of the mighty Mirai. Look, Mirai's losing her strength to stand up and just spin that leg away. Flies in. Oh, thankfully didn't hit that clothesline. Tanaka turns it into an R bar. Here comes Victoria Yuzuki to keep Mirai's... Tag team partners from running in and breaking this up. And Mariah does a great job of getting to the ropes and getting Tanaka off of her before she can really sink that arm bar in. Tanaka has a great arm bar that she can make anyone submit. Oh, my Sakurai boots Tanaka into the back, allowing Mariah to gain control. But Tanaka's busting out of Mariah's waist hold. Oh, goes onto the back and a falling Samoan style slam from Mariah to Kazuna Tanaka, who is down maybe for a little bit here. That took a lot out of our the fighting Kazuna Tanaka. Mirai stands her up, picks her up against across her shoulders again. What's she going to do? Because Tanaka gets her back, gets her neck. She's got a sleeper. She's got a chokehold on Mirai. Mirai is feeling it too. Look at her. Mirai's doubled over a little bit. Mirai's going to smash her into the corner to try to break out of it. It works. Kazuna Tanaka now just in the corner, but moves out of the way. Big drop kick from Tanaka. I think she needs to tag here, but she's not going to. She comes out and gets clotheslined by Mirai. Oh, my God. She's up and with a drop kick. She got right up from a clothesline. She is determined. She hooks Mirai. Fisherman suplex bridging. No, can't hold it. Mirai did take a lot out of Tanaka. Tanaka fought back. She used that fighting spirit and that determination to stand back up from Mirai clothesline. That's incredible. Tags in Yuzuki. In comes my Sakurai. She and Victoria Yuzuki are going back and forth. Irish whip goes down. Yuzuki flips over. Crosses pass. Crosses pass. Drop kick from Victoria Yuzuki to my Sakurai. Hit her right in the face with that right in the chin. She Irish whips. No, it's reversed. My Sakurai misses the clothesline. Victoria Yuzuki with the big Hurricanrana flips over my Sakurai, who's on the second rope leaning. Victoria's going to bound up to the... No, on the apron with a big back kick to the face. Springboards in and over the top rope. Bounds across the ring with a running drop kick to the face of my Sakurai. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. That's a big hook. She had that in there good, but not enough. My Sakurai's... She, she's hard to pin. My Sakurai's probably one of the... 
the hardest people in, in Joshi Wrestling to pin. I mean, that's just a fact. Now, here we got both a stallmate here. My Sakurai getting help from Myla Grace as the ref is distracted by Ray Saito and Tanaka. Myla Grace out of the ring as the ref comes over. Oh, and this is a big guillotine. My Sakurai has that guillotine sunk in deep. Her forearm is across the throat of Victoria Yuzuki. If we see this on the 24th, we might see the challengers turned away. But right now, Victoria is holding her own, somehow breathing, somehow existing, somehow lasting through this deep guillotine. Rolling towards the ropes. Can she get to the ropes? Look at, look at the face. Look at the face of Yuzuki as she does roll into the ropes. Boy, you got to give her credit for that or this would have been over. Sakurai had that in. She has her leaning over the second rope. Comes running in with a big boot to the face, knocking Victoria to the apron, who gets kicked by Myla Grace. My Sakurai with a big suplex. Goes to the cover, doesn't hook a leg. Victoria Yuzuki is out. My Sakurai picks Victoria Yuzuki up. Yuzuki is stammered. She is staggered. Oh, oh, but my Sakurai's leg, Larry, it hits her own partner, Mirai, and we've got like four women in the match here. It's back to Victoria Yuzuki and Tanaka against my Sakurai. Victoria Yuzuki with a judo throw. She's going to do it again. There she does. She hits these judo show throws in quick succession. There's a third one. She's going to hit a fourth. Think she's going to go for a fourth. No, she underhooks back bridging suplex with the pin. Broken up by Myla Grace. So that might have been it. Ray Saito's in to take care of Myla Grace. And they brawl out of the ring. Tanaka kicks them. No, Tanaka's got Myla Grace. In comes Mirai who has Tanaka. So we've got Mirai and Myla Grace two on one against Tanaka here as the referee is just losing control of this completely. Double cross body by Tanaka on Mirai and Myla Grace. Now we've got Tanaka and Yuzuki having Sakurai in a double Irish whip her. Oh, but Sakurai downs them both with a drop kick. But Victoria's right back up with a super kick, a big super kick to my Sakurai. Sakurai's right back up with a big single leg kick to Yuzuki. Now we've got the two legal women in the ring here, thank God. Sakurai and Victoria Yuzuki both down. Major boots, kicks, super kicks to the face from both women to each other. Who will get up first? Who can gain an advantage? Who can get a tag? What's going to happen here? Yuzuki gets a tag to Seito. Seito versus Sakurai. Seito into the ropes, comes across, drop kick to the to Sakurai who was getting up. Drop kick to Sakurai who was once again trying to get up. She's trying to get up again. Another drop kick. Seito hits all four ropes and a drop kick successfully. Oh, well, she's going to hit the rope. I think that's the fifth one. Yeah, she's just going to keep doing this. Hey, if it works, why stop doing it? Just bounding into the sides of the ropes. All four sides of the ring's over. This would be like the eighth one. Eight drop kicks. Oh my god, it's gonna be nine. Saito is just going crazy with the drop kicks. My Sakurai trying to block it, trying to hold her arm up over her chin area to maybe take the shock away. Doesn't get the pin after like ten drop kicks. Gets that double arm bar. Like this is a move where what the wrestler's trying to do is squeeze the shoulder blades together. Your know, shoulder blades aren't supposed to touch each other. And that's what she's trying to do. She doesn't release it, but Mirai kicks her, picks her up off of her partner. Does Mirai has her? Oh, big German belly to back suplex from Mirai. Myla Grace now in there. She's going to. Oh my God! I, that twisting scorpion death drop kind of move. I'm sorry, I don't know what to call that. It probably has a name. I'm not Excalibur, okay? My Sakurai going to the top, blocked by Victoria Yuzuki. Yuzuki's maybe just going to throw her off the rope. Yuzuki's in the ring. Has her by the head, just flips her off the top rope. Luckily, her partner, Ray Saito, rolled out of the way or should have got crushed by that. Now we got Tanaka and Yuzuki on my Sakurai. Double suplex, underhook. They got her leg, double suplex from the tag team title contenders, Tanaka and Yuzuki. They're going to throw Saito on top of Sakurai, but Mirai is going to come in and push Saito off of her. Now remember, the legal ones are Saito and my Sakurai. Saito's determined to make this double arm bar shoulder breaker work. She flips it over into a bridge, pulling those arms and those shoulder blades closer together. Wow, she's got that locked in deep. Sakurai trying to get to the ropes. You see Yuzuki, Yuzuki holding Mirai there so she can't come in and interfere. My Sakurai is in a bad way. She's still fighting for the ropes. I think she's going to get there. She does. Wow. 
Saito forced to break there. But still, the legal people, the legal women in this ring is Saito and Sakurai. Oh, there's that leg lariat from my Sakurai to Ray Saito. That's going to even her up immediately. My Sakurai up. <clears throat> Tries for the suplex. Doesn't get it. Gets rolled up by Saito. And she gets a two and a half count there. Saito stays on her. Rolls her up again. Has a big advantage there. Has the momentum. But no, Sakurai is out. A short fireman's carry to a bridging pin attempt, but both Myla Grace and Mirai in there to break that up. That brings Tanaka and Yuzuki in. And they are going to get Mirai and Myla Grace. No, reverse by Myla Grace. And Yuzuki, big clothesline on Yuzuki. A big super kick on Tanaka. And again, these ladies fight out. No, Myla's going to go. Myla Grace goes over. She's got Saito up. She's going to slam her down. Oh, no, falling sit out slam. My Sakurai's in to take over. No, it's my Sakurai and Mirai with a double arm ringer. Twisting, turning, double leg trip, back slam. Oh my god, it's over. It's over. My Sakurai has the STF on Rei Saito. It's over. I told you. You get in that STF, you're done. You're done. One of the best moves in wrestling, and Joshi Wrestling's for sure. She inherited that move from the incredible Julia now in NXT. And she has learned how to use it in a crippling fashion, just like the one who handed it down to her, Julia. And my Sakurai has stepped up to fill the position left by Julia and is doing an amazing job doing it. So the challengers lose this preview match, but that's their third tag team partner was the one who went down. Ray Saito. No, I mean, you get in that STF, you're going down. Simple as that. Simple as that. Great match. I thought the ref lost control a little bit. A little bit. You know, but you know, you got six crazy women in there trying to kill each other. You know, you can only do so much. I wish you would have done a little bit more, but hey, I'm not complaining. I still enjoyed this. I'd give this show a solid 8.5 out of 10. I, I Just my enjoyment level of it. Was there any match of the year contenders? No. But did I love this from bell to bell? Yes. Why not higher? Well, yeah, I reserve the super high scores for the big shows. Okay, you know, if I give the small shows nines and tens, then what's the big deal when I ever give them, right? Loved it. I really like the show. I'm going to lay out here. I'm going to let these ladies talk. I don't know what they're saying. They're talking about the tag team match, right? That's um, my Sakurai mouthing off to Yuzuki and Tanaka about their upcoming tag team match. Uh, so I'll let this go. Thanks for joining me, folks. Keep watching. You can turn the commentary off now if you want because I'm pretty much done. I am the Marigold Majesty. Please subscribe to this YouTube. Please. And I thank you for joining me, and I thank you for your support. And I thank Marigold Dreamstar Fighting for being wrestling done right. And I'll talk to you again before you know it.